Hello, my name is Nicole Cole. Welcome to my channel. Uh, tonight we're going to do a little bit more painting. This is our 18 days of Christmas. That's what we're doing. So every night until Christmas, I'm going to do a, a short video. So tonight I'm going to give you two items to do. We're going to do this little church. So um, I'm going to talk y'all through that. And then I've got another little surprise from something that we've done from last night, I have a different way to do a snowman. So I wanted to share that with y'all. So I'm gonna get my uh, equipment adjusted, be right back with you. Okay, so the first thing we'll need is one of these uh, wooden discs. And there's, there's that wooden disc that I've been showing y'all many times. And it, uh, we're gonna do a little church and we're gonna add the trees that we did the other day. So um, I think this is gonna be really, really sweet. So first off, I am going to do the white to, to get my uh, shape of my church. So let's get a little white on here. And um, you may have to go over it a couple of times. I noticed last night when we did the snowman, he uh, I did have to go back over him a little bit. But let's get this started. So I normally start on the bottom. So I do the top roof part. And I never can do two just alike, so don't worry about that. Get this top roof area kind of the way I'd like to have it. And then we'll do that, that upper part. All right. And I have to kind of keep playing with it to get it the way I want it to look. But you see it looks just like a little house right now but I kind of build on that. So, um, and I hope y'all, yeah, y'all can see this good, great. All right, so let's get that filled in real good. All right, now I'm gonna make the bottom a little, <clears throat> excuse me, make it a little fatter, okay? So I'm just gonna kind of go out. So I basically got the form I want or the shape I want. I'm just gonna make it a little bit fatter. Churches are very hard. They're very hard to do for me. Uh, I struggle with them. That's why I added the Christmas trees or the tree, the evergreens on either side, just to kind of doll it up a little bit. And that house is further to the bottom, so I'm just gonna kind of even go a little further. All right. So we've got our shape for the bottom, okay? And I'm not gonna fill it in too awful tight for you guys, I just kinda wanted to give you an idea. All right, so I've got my bottom. Now I'm gonna do this 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 portion, this top portion. Oh, let me show you. It's this top portion of my little church, okay? So I'm gonna just fill that in as best I can. So I'm just gonna come up here, almost like a little schoolhouse. So I'm just gonna kinda go on the, either side of my tip right there and see how we work with this. Like I said, painting is very forgiving. And really that is what people like about hand painted ornaments because they're not perfect. And uh, so I have a lot of people go, I, I like that in those imperfections uh, on there. That to me makes it even better. So, I have always drawn. I didn't start painting until I was an adult, and um, I've, I've loved it ever since I've started. I think once you start and you kind of get the hang of it, you start playing with different things. You learn what you can and can't do, but you got to try it. You just got to try it. If you don't try, you'll never know if you can or can't do it. All right, so I think I've got my my shape the way I want it. So let's uh, take our black and I'm gonna do my little small, uh, I got 
paint all over my hands. I'm gonna take my little small paintbrush and I'm gonna outline my areas. So I'm gonna outline the top. Once again, I'm a little shaky this afternoon. What I like about these round ornaments is you can kind of turn them and get them to lay the way you want to get to your piece better. When you're working with a big area, it's a lot harder to do. And so I'm gonna do my roof and I'm just gonna kind of go down off of that a little bit. Here we go. So I've got basically my top, okay? So there's my top. And then I'm gonna drop down on the bottom and start working on it. So here's my roof. Roof line. And you can even kind of go over a little bit here to make it have the little uh, edges of your roof. You may not see it when we add the um, trees, but hey, that's okay. All right, so now I'm gonna go down either side. All right, so we basically have the shape of our church. So now I'm going to do my doorway. And here I go shaking again. All right, come on. We can do this. All right. And I tried to line it up underneath the top as best I could. I'm gonna just drop this down here. I think I'm gonna make it that way. All right, so you can see that my windows and my um, door is not a, a black. So let's um, do that real quick. I used a blue color for that. I guess I'll use this small tooth, uh, <laughs> toothbrush. Yeah, we're gonna brush our teeth. Gonna use this small paintbrush again. And you can do, I did those windows kind of arched, but you can, um, you can do a more round top instead of that uh, teardrop kind of shape, I guess you'd call it. So let's do them a little arched. So it's all in how you want to do it, guys. You don't have to do it exactly like I did it. You can do what's easier for you. That's what I love about painting. All right, so there's one window. Now let's do another one. So I just went across. And I did a rounded top. I'm going to show it to you. I'll go ahead and do the door while we're at it. So I'm going to do the door pretty much the same way as I did the windows. Just an arch. I'm going to go ahead and do the bell tower as well. Let's see. Same way as we did the other windows. Just going to do an arch. All right, so let's y'all see. There we go. So we've got our basic design down. I may have to tweak it a little bit here and there, but we've got what we want to do. All right. My windows are not evening up, so I'm gonna fix that a little bit. So I think I've got it pretty much the way I'd like to have it. So, let me clean off my paintbrush. And I added the, the line across the top of that one. I don't think I'm gonna do it on this one. I think I'm gonna leave it plain. So, <clears throat> now I'm gonna take my black again and I'm going to line my, my windows. If I can get my hand to stop shaking. Let's see. And I made a mistake, but look, I'm gonna fill it in and you'll never know. 
well, you'll know, but no one else will know. How's that? All right, let's kind of shadow that in. Like it, see, look, y'all. How cool is that? Yay, me. All right, so let's do this other side. That's looking pretty good. So I'm going to shadow it just like I did on the exact same side because that's probably the way the sun's going to be, right? Our pretend sun. All right, so let me do this up top. So basically, I've outlined all my windows. All right. Since I have my black already out, I'm going to do my cross on the top. Do it this way where I don't get my hand in the paint. All right, and now I'm gonna go ahead and, and um, do around my door. I could make this a double door if I wanted. I'm, I think I'm just gonna do it a single door. And you can see the grain of the wood, it makes it hard sometimes to paint. But once again, that's that hand painted look. All right, so we basically have our church. How easy is that? All right, so now I'm gonna do our trees. And we done the trees the other day. We're doing them exactly the same as we did the trees the other day. I'm trying to find a, a bigger paintbrush. I'm gonna use this size today. All right, so I'm gonna do my dark green first. I'm gonna start up high and we're gonna do our little V's, remember? So I'm just gonna fan those out. The trees just add to it to me. It just makes it really pretty. Got something on my shirt. All right, let's see. See, I told you I'd cover up that little roof line piece there. Gutters, yeah, there you go. All right, so I'm just gonna go down close to the bottom. And see how I'm just kind of fanning that out to make it look even on either side? You, you just have to play with it. All right, so I have my one tree done. One side done, let's do the other, okay? So I'll start at the top and I may make this one a little taller I've enjoyed painting with y'all this week. It's getting my mind off of a lot of things. You know, Chris, buying Christmas presents, family coming in, wanting everything perfect, that sort of thing. I know everybody's trying to get ready for the holiday. So this, this is really helping me. So I appreciate y'all letting me share with you all. All right, let's keep going. We about, we about to get there. Had to take a little mini break there. My husband came in from work. Have to give him that afternoon sugar, of course. So here I'm gonna finish my other Christmas tree. Or tree. Evergreen, there we go. All right, so I've got that tree done. Now we're gonna do, just like we did the other day, we're gonna add our little lighter green color. There's our lighter green color. And I'm just gonna feather that in, just to give it some dimension. I about went back to the old green, guys. Stay up with what I'm doing here. But I'd like to do uh, ornaments for all the kids every year. 
So every year I try to give them some sort of ornament, either something I make. Nine times out of 10, it is something I make. Um, I hope they appreciate that one day, maybe. I'm sure they do. All right, so now I've got the, the light green in there. So now I'm gonna get my white because we gotta have snow because it's Christmas, hello. All right, so I'll add the little bit of white and we'll just feather that in. It'd be on the top, of course, and then here and there. That's pretty. I really like that. All right. So we've got about got one side done. I'm just going to kind of fill in the snow down here. Let's do the other. My snow looks a little green there. <laughs> All right, guys, look at that. All right, and so now I'm gonna do the sky and I'll show you how I did that. It's very simple. So I just took my blue color like we did in the windows. I need to do a black line across the bottom. Let me do that real quick. Just to kind of give a shadow of the bottom of the church. All right, now, now we'll do the blue. All right, so I just took the blue and I kind of just feathered that in. I call it dry brushing, like dry brushing the, the blue on there. And you can do more, you can do less. It's totally up to you. And then I come back with my white and I just kind of blend that in. And it's just to add dimension and color uh, a little bit to give it a little more pizzazz. All right, there we go. So we could uh, even put a wreath on the front door. Yeah, if y'all wanna do that, we'll do that real quick. That's not a problem. Let's do that. We'll add a little wreath to the front door, a little green wreath. So I'll just do my circle. If you hear something in the background, it's my husband on the phone. Retired military, he talks awfully loud, but I love him. All right. There's our wreath. See, it wasn't that hard. Not hard at all. It took us uh, probably 14 minutes to do that. So we added the Chris, um, excuse me, we added the um, church tonight and we had done the, the Christmas trees the other night. So you're just kind of building on those uh, foundations as we call them. All right, so I wanted to show you something else really quick. Um, I had painted these, already painted these white before we got on, and I saw where they took two of these. I think that should be the head. All right, and then let's paint him a little. Uh, this is going to end up to be a snowman. So they just took the two pieces of wood. I'm going to paint the little uh, carrot nose. We did this the other night. Little carrot nose. Might need to be longer than that, but we'll go with that for right now. And then I'm gonna do his little eyes. You could even put little um, hats on these. You could take socks and cut the bottoms out and 
put a little sugin on his head. When I lived in, and I said I lived in Canada last night, they called him toque, a toque, not, not a sugin or <clears throat> a hat. They called it a toque. Weirdest thing ever. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, let's see. <clears throat> Make him smile. <coughs> I think his eyes need to be a little bigger. May even do that little bit of carrot bigger. <coughs> It'll tickle in my throat. <coughs> All right, let's make him a little longer and bigger. All right, there's his little snowman face. All right, and I'm gonna get, oh, excuse me. I get my little glue gun over here. I'm gonna put a little glue right here. Let's see. I'm gonna glue him together. I'm gonna hold that over my plate because I sure don't want that on my countertop. But look at that. You can put him a little bow on him. He'd be really, really cute. So I thought y'all would might like to see that. Um, so tonight we did a church. We've done uh, Christmas trees, and that is not going to stay. Uh, we've done snowman. So y'all give me some ideas of something we can do another night. I'll finish the little snowman, and I'll post a picture for you guys. Okay, as I was saying, so I will finish the snowman and let y'all see that. I'll post that on my Instagram. That's my Instagram is Vintage Southern Bell uh, 16. And then uh, tomorrow night, we'll figure something else out to do tomorrow night. I've enjoyed tonight. Uh, it, uh, also, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would appreciate that. Uh, that is Nicole Cole. You can subscribe, excuse me, you subscribe, and then it will alert you once I post a new video. So after Christmas, we're going to start showing how to pack all this Christmas up because I have a ton to pack up. And um, then we're going to start decorating for every day. And I, I, I'm actually looking forward to that because I want to show y'all different things that we can do and, um, and we can have fun while we do it. So y'all have a nice evening and thank you so much.